our last guest doesn't look a lot like Bob Bowman, who wasn't able to make it tonight, but Jeffrey Volk is the SVP of Business Development at Major League Baseball Advanced Media and actually knows more about everything than Bob does. In his current role, he generates, I don't want to get him fired here, but it's true. He generates new revenues through partnerships across digital, mobile, and connected devices, which include partnerships with WWE Network, PGA Tour, HBO, ESPN, U.S. Golf Association, IBM, and Advertising Week. So these are, talk about an elephant in the room. Mr. Bam is the elephant that led, is the grandfather of us all that started this entire business early on and led the other leagues into going forward. So I'm going to start with you, even though you're a substitute. Uh, tell us about... First an elephant, then a substitute. Yeah, tell us, about, tell us about BAM and how you guys got involved with doing so much beyond just the relationship with Major League Baseball. Yeah. Um, so most people don't realize how much Major League Baseball does beyond Major League Baseball. We're, we like to think we're New York's sports startup, but 15 years ago we created an entity which we took all the rights to all 30 clubs in Major League Baseball, rolled them up together and said, let's sell some ads, let's sell some t-shirts, let's sell some tickets and see what happens. Um, and when you have 2,500 baseball games every year, you have a home feed and a away feed, that's 5,000 live events every year. If you're creating the technology around the streaming, around mobile, around social, all the things that you're building to support that, you have, we'll call it the technical term stuff, right? You have a lot of bodies, you have a lot of infrastructure, you have a lot of capital, et cetera. And so about six years ago, approximately, uh, in conversations with CBS and Turner, um, around what used to be called March Madness On Demand, which now is called March Madness Live, we began supporting and doing the streaming for um, the NCAA tournament. Shortly thereafter, we had conversations with ESPN. ESPN was acquiring rights incredibly well, and uh, while they had a few television networks, they had a lot more content that they could show in their television networks, and they began to start to stream what was then at the time known as ESPN3. So we started streaming March Madness and ESPN. Since then, um, the model in many ways has expanded. You've got authentication, you've got over-the-top, meaning subscriptions, you've got free ad-supported models, and we've started building from acquisition of video through encoding and streaming and app building and customer service and uh, subscriptions and so on for WWE Network, to, to your point, to PGA Tour Live, which went live this summer, HBO Now, um, the Grateful Dead concerts this summer. If you went to the homepage of MLB.com this summer, it would say, hey, baseball fans, want to watch uh, the Grateful Dead concerts? You can do that here. Um, so that's a, a huge flourishing that, business. That's about the right audience, right? Baseball fans and Grateful Dead fans? <laughs> Where's McArdle? He and I are on the same team here with the uh, other, other, other league title. 